Right, I've just um, powered up for the first time the new MPPT uh, controller rig and uh, it looks like a right old mess but um, I just wanted to make sure that the microcontroller section was working so I've put the USB cable in and uh, the display has powered up which is good news um, also it's got the new MOSFET driver here and so I've added a bit of code into the processor to read the pop value and uh, certainly when I'm turning it the decoy driver is switching from high to low if I can get both in the shot at the same time so that's uh, off zero that's uh, midpoint sort of thing and then fully on you've got the top LED coming on so that seems to be working the next thing is to uh, be brave and put 12 volts onto the battery side which is on the right so no major disaster um, reading 12.15 volts that B uh, I just shoved in there to mean battery and it's reading uh, 12 volts on this side what I've done is I've put the uh, battery pack from my car the jump start battery pack this is the one I'm using for the MOSFET tutorial and I've put it in on the battery side and there's a new sensor here which is the voltage measurement sensor for the battery and there's also a current measurement sensor for the battery so I just wanted to make sure that we're getting sensible readings so that 12.12 volts um, it looks about right although the unit itself is saying 12.4 volts so not quite sure uh, why the discrepancy uh, so once again running off 12 volts now the Arduino is running from 12 volts this um, connector here is going into the uh, board and there's a regulator on there which brings it down to 5 and uh, that's powering the display fine so that all appears to be working um, so I'll just do a quick run through of um, what the major changes are from the old board to this board um, there's nothing hugely uh, different there's an addition on this side of these two extra sensors here the current sensor and the voltage sensor on the battery side and the idea is there is so that we can get watts coming out of the buck converter which is here um, and also watts coming in which is on the uh, side the current and voltage sensors that I originally had to uh, calculate an efficiency um, and of course if the efficiency is low then it means that power is being wasted in the buck converter um, and you know if we're getting sort of 70 or 80 percent then something's clearly not right and if any of these buck converter components are hot that would be the reason that that is happening so the buck converter I've laid out uh, a little bit neater I think um, in this sort of Y shape there's the MOSFET there's the inductor there's the Schottky diode at the bottom um, the high current wiring is pretty much as it was before you just got yellow coming in a ground line running right across the bottom and red is the battery side here uh, the big capacitor is there also the two um, smaller thousand mic I think they are capacitors uh, on both battery and solar panel side the part now of course is wired directly into an analog input on the Arduino of course I'm using the Nano now I was using the Uno um, the decoy MOSFET driver up here the dual complementary opto isolator MOSFET driver uh, haven't managed to get rid of the 9 volt battery um, so that's going to be providing the 9 volts for the gate of the MOSFET temporarily which is why I've stuck it on the side there I hope to get rid of that eventually well I have to because you can't have a uh, an MPPT controller with a 9 volt battery stuck on the side of it um, so those are the major changes now we are promised it seems if I go back to my desk and uh, just have a look at the BBC weather promised a little bit of sunshine later today 5 p.m. 6 p.m. and tomorrow Sunday it says it's sunny all day I believe that when I see it so uh, with any luck I can get this um, thing back out in the garden and get a solar panel on it and uh, see uh, if we can uh, get it working again on this new board so now I've brought the uh, new MPPT uh, charge controller out and uh, hooked it up to the battery there's my 20 watt bulb soaking power out of the battery and the voltage on that is slowly dropping 
Now I didn't think, I came out here because I didn't think the BBC were right and that we were going to get any sunshine, but I could be wrong because just up there there's a teeny bit of blue sky. So it's possible that uh, there will be some sunshine later and I can do some proper tests. I've hooked up the uh, 80 watt panel and that's going into the uh, input connections. But this thing does seem to be sort of working because if I turn it up the watts increase to about 4.4 and then as I go higher it drops off. So that's the point where on the decoy driver it's at uh, 100% MOSFET on, 3.7 watts, and as I back that off, the positionings are slightly different now, probably because the PWM is not on the 555, so it's not in the position I'm familiar with it, but that's increased it to 4.6 watts, and then if I go a little bit further, that uh, drops away quite rapidly. So there's the MPPT gain, take it up to uh, 10 or 100% PWM and uh, it's only 3.7 watts so that seems to be working. I'm quite, uh, I'm quite impressed. Now I am occasionally seeing a little bit of uh, movement on the amps reading. Um, the big capacitor is on the filter pins of the uh, amp sensor, the ACS712. But I'm just wondering actually whether this is the wire from the uh, ammeter and I've sort of put it through a coil of wire that has the PWM signal at 15 kilohertz going through it, so that's probably not the, the cleverest idea, I might reroute that. Um, but it's not too bad, that's uh, quite a stable amps reading, that was all over the place before, in fact the volts reading is now the one with the V after it, that's volts on the input side. Solar panel volts, in other words. Um, let's turn the pot a bit to get the solar panel up to sort of 17 and a half volts. That's not giving me maximum power. I'm getting maximum power at about 16 and a half volts. That's not surprising because we haven't got uh, proper full sun on the panel. But it's working. And that's a very good news. So one of the first things I'll do is to use the new voltage and current measuring modules on the battery side to calculate the efficiency of the buck converter and then uh, over the winter I want to put a panel up on the wall and uh, so I can use this thing indoors and then get the scope on it and start looking at the um, waveforms on that buck converter to see whether we are in continuous or discontinuous mode, whether we do have any ringing uh, or any other artifacts that could be losing efficiency. Um, so I do need to get efficiency on this display as a matter of sort of urgency now. And of course I should say that the whole point of relaying this thing out on this new board with the uh, analog oscillator gone of course and the PWM coming from the Arduino microcontroller, is that in order for this thing to be a proper tracking MPPT, maximum power point tracking um, charge controller, the microcontroller has to have full control over the PWM pulse width, the percentage value of PWM. Uh, so it needs to measure volts and amps on the solar panel, volts and amps, uh, or certainly volts on the battery, calculate watts and then uh, inch the PWM value one notch up or one notch down and say okay what happened have I got more watts or, or less watts oh I've got more watts in that case inch the PWM another notch in the same direction uh, what's happened now well I've still got more watts so keep going and then of course if uh, it uh, makes another move on the PWM and there are fewer watts it says, okay, time to change direction, let's go back the other way. And so it's constantly hunting around, inching the PWM value away from its current value, and just watching for the maximum watt value. Um, and that's the tracking, that's the feedback um, control loop. And then the potentiometer won't be needed, and I'll just probably have a row of buttons along here, um, 
to go into auto tracking mode. That's the whole point of MPPT. So yes, the BBC have changed their mind and we're not going to get the 5 p.m. and 6 p.m. sun like we were. Still uh, sun scheduled for tomorrow. But despite that, there is some uh, there is some brightness out there. Oh, let's quickly head back out. So what have we got? Nine watts. Whoa. Thirteen, fifteen watts. Let's maximize that out. Yeah, 14 watts, 15.2 watts peak. It's not brilliant sunshine, but better than I could have hoped, I think. And now actually we're getting maximum power. Yeah, it's tricky. Well, around maybe 17 volts, and you expect that um, with more power coming from the sky. Hoping to catch this thin sliver of blue sky. It'll be here in a moment. And so finally, some real sun. Uh, what are we getting? Thirty-five watts. <laughs> Looks like the old days. It's like summer again. That's probably the day's best. 45 watts. Happy with that. 